I'm Dr. Stephen Gallagher, I'm a health psychologist and I work at the Department of Psychology at the University of Limerick. My research is primarily concerned with looking at what are the factors are associated with caregiver health. Although I'm interested in all caregivers, my primary interest group would be parents caregiving for children with developmental disabilities. And what my work has shown is that these parents report high amounts of psychological distress, they have poorer sleep quality and they report more physical health problems. And what tends to be explaining these kind of negative outcomes would be you know, parents feeling guilty about not being able to do more for their children, even though they're doing already enough and more than what they should be doing. We also find that it's problem behaviours that the child might be displaying was associated with poor physical health as well as um, poor sleep quality. We've also looked at not just the self-report in terms of physical health, we've also looked at the physiological consequences of providing care around the clock care if you like and we found that relative to control group these caregiving families have poorer immune functioning they make less antibodies following a vaccination and what this means is they're less able to fight off infections another line of research is looking at the beneficial effects of social support so here in this study we looked at um, blood pressure responses so we asked families to wear blood pressure uh, monitors for a 24 hour period and we found differences between parenting families or parents caregiving for children with developmental disabilities and a controlled family with higher blood pressure in the caregiving families and what was explaining this was the support availability so parents who reported better source support had better blood pressure so this means that if we provide support to these families their blood pressure is going to be much better Again, a new line of research would be looking at um, you know, resilience factors within these families. So we know, for example, that some families are able to cope extremely well with the demands of caring. And, but what is it that predicts this resiliency factor? What makes them more robust into families who are not coping so well? So we have a current PhD student now who's going to be looking at what kind of things might be explaining this resilience is it the levels of support that's available in their lives but also is it like a personality trait is this something that's inherent in themselves or maybe they're actually doing multiple jobs so as well as their caregiving roles they could be doing other um, like working full-time they might be in other kind of careers that help to kind of negate the effects or maybe they might be financially better off so these kind of things we're interested in what makes some families cope better than other families. So we can use this information to tailor specific interventions to meet the needs of these particular families.